Hey everybody, Mike from Taste But Orgasm here. Yeah, it's uh, Thanksgiving morning. It's about 10 minutes to 10 uh, California time or Palm Springs time, whatever time you want to call it, or zone time, don't matter. But uh, what I have here is butternut squash. It's going to be roasted, and it's very, very simple. And I, before turning on the film here, God, I'm so old school, <laughs> video camera, call it what you want, I don't care. The thing that records, okay? Uh, let me show you here. See, a big bowl of the squash. I know i got to get a new tripod, so maybe Santa will bring me one. Uh, it's just one, it was actually organic uh, acorn squash, or butternut squash. I peeled it, I, excuse me there. I used this peeler here. It's a ceramic peeler, and it went through the outer skin like a knife going through butter. And it was great. Uh, didn't cut myself, see? No cuts, that's a good thing. So basically, it's just so simple, just olive oil on it. Now you want to heat your up, preheat your oven to uh, 350, because these will take probably 20 minutes or so to cook. A little pinch of salt in there. A little bit of cracked black pepper. And good old Italian seasoning. Now you want to go easy on this because you don't want to overpower it. You know that. And then just get in here, mix everything up. Get the salt, the pepper, the Italian seasoning on everything. Sometimes I think I should just have a drum that would uh, do this. And I made them into small bite-sized pieces and some are thicker than others but it doesn't matter oops it fell on the cutting board so that's good um, they're getting the seasoning all over them now let me wash my hands real quick and all right i'm back and everything is going to go on this large shoot. I dropped my towel, so clean one. Everything's going to go on this sheet right here. So it will um, take probably 20, 25 minutes or so to cook everything. And they're thick. But the great thing about this is that hot or cold, these are great bites to eat. Yeah, they're kind of stacked on top, so it may take a little bit longer. Um, evidently, I overestimated the size of my uh, pan, or the squash when I bought it. There's only four of us today, so... Um, anyway, so... Stand by. These are going to go in the oven 350 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes until they're soft. Come out, they'll cool down, and we'll either eat them cold or I'll reheat for our turkey day dinner. So, very easy, very nutritious meal to make. Um, it doesn't cost much. It's the cost of your, of your butternut squash. And you can, you know, use different squashes, whatever you want. So anyway, stand by now, all right? Hey everybody, Mike from Taste Board Orgasm here. Guess what? You know what's done? Answers. Oh, I meant you can't answer. This is not a show and tell or... Um, I wish video might at times be a scratch and sniff. Or, yeah, scratch and sniff. But then again, on some things I wouldn't be very good. But guess what's done? Guess. Yes, acorn squash. You got it. Look at that. Oh, let me turn the light on to you a little better light. Look at that lusciousness. Oh, they're just perfectly done. Oh, those things are just going to be mouth-watering. They're going to be cooled off by the time we get ready to eat. There, now I'm not so close to the camera. And, you know, it's going to be a great meal. These are great. This is something you can fix no matter what time of year. If you can get the squash, you can fix it. I'm sorry, I'm just putting the camera back down so I don't drop it. So that's the thing is, with acorn squash, it's great. You can fix it any time of the year you want. It doesn't have to be a fall food. Uh, acorns, or uh, actually it's butternut, not acorn. But all the acorn, butternut, spaghetti squash, 
uh, versatile in, in how you can have them. You can, like the butternut, cut them in half, leave the skin on, cut them in half, take the seeds out, put some brown sugar and, and a pat of butter in the cavity where the seeds are, and cook them that way. Or you can turn them upside down and roast them. And then you can eat it just almost like a baked potato. They're really good. They go with so many different things. This goes well with turkey. I don't know so much about fish, but if you wanted to have roasted butternut squash or acorn squash or spaghetti squash with your, um, with your fish, you certainly have it. It's what you want. That's the great thing about cooking. And just have a great time. Uh, remember, food is what brings people together. Have a great time at your table. Uh, turn the TV, telephones, computers, laptops, iPads. Turn all the electronics off. Turn the radio on. I'm looking forward to hearing some of uh, Nina Simone's channel from Sirius, or uh, Pandora, rather. Uh, it's just a great channel. So we're going to have a great time here. Until you see me again in my awesome uh, platinum uh, gray hair here, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.